Welcome to Rhino Support. To get started, it's real easy. Just fill out the information you see on the form and click Activate My Account. One thing to note is typically you're going to put your company name here. So, My Company. And also note that this can be changed once you get inside within your account settings so that you can tailor it to your own domain. So now you just fill out the rest of the form and click Activate My Account. Once you've activated your account, you'll notice this welcome screen and this will walk you and your staff through Rhino Support to help you get familiar with it as quick as possible. All you got to do is just click the Next button. This little tour will walk you through all the main areas of Rhino Support so you can get familiar very quickly. So you'll notice here, this is your status bar. This is a quick resource to be able to filter tickets and to see how well you're doing. Here, when you're looking at tickets that are coming in, you just need to hover over the actual subject line and you'll be able to get a preview. Rhino Support was built to be able to give you all kinds of one-click functionality to really streamline your support needs. So you can see the tickets right away, you can assign them to people, assign them to departments, mark a spam, delete, and so much more right from within the main screen. If you have a need to create new tickets for customers that may be contacting you elsewhere, you can do that right from within here by just by clicking the Create a Ticket button. All the main settings for setup are going to be here in the settings department. So let's just go there now. Adding new staff and departments is really easy. So you can see here, you can quickly add a user's name and their email address, and you can add new departments as well. Also note that if you want departments that are private where they're not public for people to see, you can do that too just by clicking that box. If you want to add uh, Rhino support to your website, you can do that as well. The most popular option is likely going to be tailoring an email address. The good news is this is already set up for you, and you've got one at my company at rhinosupport.com. But if you'd like to tailor that to your own email address, just click this link, and it will give you the instructions on how to do that accordingly. Another thing to note is you can actually create custom email addresses that go to specific departments. So if you have sales at your company.com, well, you can have that go directly to your sales department accordingly. So very easy for you, and there's many options on how to add Rhino to your website. You can also have tabs with different colors to be able to display on your site as well, so that when your customers click the tabs then a pop-up screen will open just like this and you can see here uh, you can have live chat they can create a ticket they can see the FAQ and the colors match the colors that you select in the color section so moving down you can also add text links and you can add iframe code to be able to display that form on any poster page uh, within your site Branding options are available to you. You can change the company name as we talked about. You can add the email addresses as we've talked about. And so that means anybody who sends an email to that address, it'll automatically create a new ticket for you. You can change a bunch of things in here. One thing that I wanted to point out is that the fields for the forms that people are filling out when they're submitting a ticket, you can add new fields, take away fields, you can make them required, etc. The system here, there's a number of different preferences that you can select. One thing to note is the filters. These will automate the process of tickets coming in from a specific uh, address. You can have them go to a specific person or department. If you'd like to import tickets from a previous system, we can help you do that. Canned responses, we'll talk about this in just a second, but this will help speed up your response times. Last thing we'll cover is the features section. Here you'll have a knowledge base so that when customers come to your site, you can have questions that are already set up with answers, uh, providing them with answers to, again, reduce the number of tickets that are coming in. And you also have the option for live chat. This comes with all packages, and you can turn this on or off. So let's go to the main screen now, and we'll show you how to actually respond within a ticket. So again, back on the main area, if you are looking at your tickets, you can just hover over the subject line and you can get a preview of that right away. Let's say that this is a ticket you want to respond to. Just click on it. And from within the ticket, you have a number of different options. So again, the walkthrough is going to show you and your staff 
how to respond within a ticket. So you can reply right here and you can move the ticket right away to you know open it or close it, whatever, uh, however you wanna handle that. And let's just say that you are responding to a ticket and you said, uh, John, thanks for the ticket. Now, after leaving this response, you're thinking to yourself, you know what, I'm probably gonna use that again. So all you need to do is just click add to and it'll say, where do you want to add this to? Canned responses, or you can actually add it straight to the knowledge base. For now, let's just use canned responses. We'll call this test response. And we're going to add this to a new category. We'll call this general responses. And we'll leave departments as is. And so what the cool thing about this is you can actually merge in a short code if you want to add their first name to the actual ticket response. So let's just do that now. And what that'll do is that'll automatically, when you use this canned response, it'll insert the name of the person that uh, you're responding to. So let's just take this out. And let's just say that we wanted to use a canned response. Well, now we've got one, we can use it. Boom, there it is. And so it'll automatically drop it in there for you. And so this just makes it fast and easy to be able to get back to your customers. And you'll notice that there are a number of other options over here, and I'm just gonna use this to walk us through them. So if you wanna add a note, the customers will not see these notes, but this is, uh, this is an example note. So once you've got your note, you can just click post this note, and you'll notice that uh, this is the original ticket over here, and this is the note that has been created here. So we'll just quickly walk through this again. Um, one click options, if you want to move it to a closed ticket, delete it or mark it as spam. Then you've got your customer information that you can add to here. Customer notes, you can uh, see their other tickets, most recent tickets, assign them uh, to specific people, move them to a department, you can add tags, and you can join tickets if a customer's uh, submitting multiple tickets and it should really be within one. So many, many options for you available within your accounts. The other thing to note is that when you are in your account, um, if you would like to set up another company. So right now you can see that we've got one company up here. Well, there is the option with the platinum uh, package to be able to upgrade and have multiple companies within the same account. So let's just take a look at this. So right now you can see that we're on the solo plan, but if we scroll down and we activate the platinum plan, this now gives us the options to add multiple companies within the same help desk. And you can see it right here. This button now appears once we are part of the Platinum program. And so here, you just add another company. So it could be second company. And we'll call this second company. And you can actually copy the staff from one company over to the next. So we'll create the new site. And so now you have two companies up here, your first company and your second company. And so this allows you to have multiple companies within the same help desk, which is useful. If you've got product lines that you wanna keep separate and you don't wanna confuse customers, perhaps they're servicing different niche markets, well, this allows you to have up to five different companies within the same help desk and yet still have your same staff being able to support each of those companies accordingly. So to get your account set up today, just click on free trial, select the package that you want, and activate your account.